What's up people, so we're gonna have a look at this new app from NVIDIA and I must say <clears throat> it looks very interesting. Um, you can get involved in all this kind of things here, NVIDIA Omniverse, get, you know, th these are apps. You can install them and then, you know, chat RTX, I think I'm gonna get this one as well and this one, Omniverse, I'm not sure what's what's about, but... <sighs> Cloud gaming, I don't need cloud gaming here, GeForce now. But it looks very, very good. So that's the new driver place. Okay. Graphics. This is where things are getting interesting. Because you see, so I have all the games here that I currently have installed. And everything is like optimized by the new driver, by the new app. But I've noticed some things that, you know, they are changed. Um, for example in cyberpunk um, they put the game on recommended which I'm not playing on recommended I'm going like on quality stuff is more demanding is basically the maximum what my um, what my GPU and my system can handle but we're gonna do like a test with what they consider to be recommended and what I can see, I think this is what I usually do. Let let me check what's the difference. So so far everything is fine. So they recommend. Okay, so they recommend DLSS on performance, and I usually put DLAA enabled here. Ray reconstruction on, and on quality. It appears to be off so we will see and everything else is all right so everything else is the same good so that's that's gonna be the test we're gonna do between what they recommend in the driver and what I usually play uh, so leave it on recommended for now because that's how we're gonna start the start the test. We're gonna do obviously side by side. All right, so you can check your system as well. Overview: Windows 11 driver, CPU 12900K. Until, as you know, we're gonna switch to to AMD. 64 gigs of RAM and three storages. Um, everything adds up to like three four five three point five terabytes. I have another SSD of one terabyte here uh, RTX 4090 and my favorite my all-time favorite monitor PG 42 UQ um, what else performance yeah this is something uh, something new you have automatic tuning here and automatic tuner which finds the best overclock settings for your GPU and maintains that performance on a regular basis so we could do this i mean we can try it it's not gonna work because you have to stop all your recordings and everything else that you're doing in the background but i'm gonna try without any kind of recording and attach uh, to this uh, to this video so let's see how, uh, how it's gonna go all right so after a little bit of time of uh, tuning uh, they managed to find these settings plus 124 megahertz on core clock and plus 200 megahertz on VRAM now from my own experience I can say I managed to get like better uh, tweaks 150 on core clock and 250 on uh, on VRAM these are my maximum stable uh, frequencies for overclocking this uh, 4090 MSI 4090 uh, of course I've so when I did my my own tweaking, I've maxed out this uh, this two, and I went with the fan speeds to uh, hundred percent. Usually it should be on um, it should be on uh, automatic, but for some reason you know my GPU fans they stay at zero when you, I put it to automatic and they don't they don't start. I don't know it's something like I think it's something from I have MSI. Um, center msi afterburner center and this is kind of lazy so what i do i put it on 70 and i just leave it on 70 i never leave i never need more than 70 percent when i'm gaming when i'm in idle i put it on 25 or 30 percent 
and that's it. So we're gonna do we're gonna do that uh, side by side. As I was saying, like they 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 are uh, um, they are saying that their settings are better, like with this app. So it kind of tweaks your your gaming um, performance, and it makes it fit exactly with what you have. So I don't play the game in this uh, in this settings in this kind of settings. I'm going more to the quality side more like this is this is my this is my play but we're gonna do what they call recommended and we're gonna test side by side uh, as I was saying the the thing that uh, they change so you can see here um, here you go so they put DLSS on performance I put uh, DLLA DLAA enabled here everything else stays the same so probably they will get better much better performance because because of the lss there but let's go and test it side by side with their configuration and then mine and let's see what's the difference all right the fun starts so first thing that i noticed is that the tuning is working and our gpu is overclocked already so we are running on a core clock of 2850 instead of 2775 i think so there's a small overclock over there. Um, another thing that I noticed is that the new NVIDIA app slash driver is applying an extreme definition of quality. And it's true, on this GPU, you ain't gonna feel that you're playing at 40 frames per second. Um, when I want like absolute quality and when I switch on the HDR as well for this incredible monitor yeah th those are the settings that i'm playing with. even if i play in 40 frames per second i don't mind you don't feel like you're playing on 40 sec uh, 40 frames per second but i have my own quality settings and i'm going to show it to you right after this uh, this benchmark finishes and i think my settings over here are the you know the fine tuning be uh, between performance and quality and basically you switch off the uh, DLAA and you go with frame generation. Everything else below stays the same. And this is the, this is the result. Now, if you are like, if you're not pausing the video, uh, you know, to look for clear uh, differences in picture quality, you ain't gonna find anything uh, you know anything different and when you when you gameplay we all know nobody you know looks for for this kind of things but i think uh you know apps are good and the driver the new the new app from nvidia is really good i think in terms of you know tuning and finding those uh, fine uh, fine lines between stability and going black screen or blue screen during the gaming so you can use that with confidence especially if you're not sure about you know voltages and this kind of stuff because i see it's working and so far i didn't have any kind of issues uh, but in terms of uh, fine tuning performance versus quality this kind of stuff the human I and uh, you know our own perception is much better than any AI I think still so thank you for watching see you soon in the next one